Hello. I think I know why you're here. Okay, let's actually start talking about the coding. I've written the script this time around so that I don't brag for ages because I'm, I know that um, very busy people have started watching me. I want to save your time. So um, I have a little script here. So please forgive me if I read um, from, from my iPad too much. I just want to get the message across clearly. And I really don't have time to um, learn this by heart. It's not school, is it? Okay, so this video, as you have guessed, is about sending encrypted messages on Facebook and Twitter. There is this web browser extension called Maskbook, and I'll talk about it um, in a moment. Um, but before before I do, I want to just um, uh, say that um, I've been I've been extremely stressed lately about a lot of things that um that are going on in, in my life right now. Um, but I've decided that from now on, you know, I'll take I'll take life a bit less seriously. I'll pause from time to time to reflect um, and enjoy life. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually deeply grateful for everything that I have and very grateful for the new people that have um, appeared in my life. Um, I want to especially um, express my gratitude to Andy it pleases my soul that we've met. Um, and uh, also big thanks to Vivek and Sachin and everyone at Kernel. Um, I'll, I'll pay back the value that you've put into me and, and, the, uh, and the community um, and, the, and the trust and support you, you always radiate is, is, is beyond measure. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I, I deeply appreciate you. Okay, so uh, back, back to the video. Um, so Maskbook, as I've mentioned, is uh, is an extension from from for your browser. Um, let's uh, let's start it up straight away. I'm just navigating to um, the repo right now, um, and to start it, I'll just run this yarn start Firefox, and it will start our our branch that we worked on. Um, and it will launch this extension in in Firefox. Just uh, checking out what I've written down. Okay, so this is um, this is what we're presented with when we first uh, install the extension. Obviously, you would have to go to the extensions page and find Maskbook and then install it. But uh, since I'm a cool developer, I just um, started with uh, with a command line command. Um, so we have the option here to connect to Facebook and that is what I'll show. You get this little pop up here um, that says that uh, Maskbook found your username. Just click here and then you are able to add this key into your um, into your bio. need to actually edit it uh, I th so it appended it so this the one at the top that I've had just now is invalid just save that and we'll use that to decrypt the messages so let me show you um, let me show you how it works if you write something um, it lets you so this extension lets you encrypt the the messages that you post to your friends at the moment and it can also it can also embed it into the image. That is what this image payload thing over here is. Just write text like, like this. And you then select whom you want to share that with and finish. Creates this, you know, a bunch of, I think it's base 64 letters. And then you post. And if you don't have an extension, then what does it say? Oh, sorry. Okay, I need to delete this. Delete this quickly. Um, let me fire up my VS Code because I'm gonna show you the. I need to. Uh, yeah.
Let me just recompile that. Uh, I had uh, I've been I've been playing around in here, and that's why it's given the error. So just recompile that, and we'll work now. So just refresh the window, and if you're someone who doesn't have the Muskbook extension, then you will see you will see what you've just seen. And if you do have it, then uh, Muskbook um, does all the heavy lifting and it decrypts the message for you. And uh, as as you've seen, you you are actually able to to select whom you want to share this uh, this um, message with. Okay, uh, I can see it's seven. It's uh, video seven minutes. Uh, so th this is Muskbook. The task was the following. The task was to, um, as you might have guessed, the task was to get the to have any image um, uh, being uploaded onto Facebook and Twitter with Muskbook and. Uh, scramble it in such a manner that no one will be able to unscramble it. Mm, the amount of permutations that you can have is very high, so it will be quite hard to deshuffle without the special key, which I will talk about in a moment. In, in a moment. Uh, but but you know you can probably do some clever stuff like uh, for example if the pixel is dark then uh, most likely it will be next to um, another dark pixel but I haven't looked at that at all. Um, so the, the this is this is what Muskbook is. This is what the task was. Um, and now, so demonstration is we can have a look at this picture, right? So as you can see, uh, you cannot tell what it is. Um, and this message over here, it actually has these um, this. Uh, and this message over here, it actually has this seed, uh, and that seed, that seed gets generated by math random, and we then use that seed to deterministically arrive at the at the permutations array that we use to deshuffle this image back. So as you can see, in this case, uh, that seed happens to be that. Uh, let let me show you the code. I've actually iterated on this quite a few times, um, and in fact, I had something. This is this is the code. I'll I'll talk about it in a moment. But first of all, I want to say that. Um, want to say that my initial thought was to actually um, encrypt the image and uh, send it to something like IPFS, and then. Uh, get that um, hash, that link, and have it on your uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, encrypted, just like a simple text. And uh, Muskbook could then inject, uh, it could download the image from IPFS and inject it into the web page in the Facebook and decrypt it. But uh, after talking to the guys at Muskbook, um, they express the preference to actually scramble the pixels. And to be honest, uh, it looks much uh, much cooler, right? Like if you if you look at that image that I showed you, it just looks like, you know, some cool stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, before before I um, I head to this, uh, before I show you the code, um, I wanna uh, and and forgive me if I butcher your name. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but um, you'll uh, you'll definitely um, uh, catch me out on this. And uh, you know, if I do it wrong, you'll you'll tell me uh, how to do it properly. Um, I'd I'd, ha I'd like to say big thanks to um, Han Tadian and uh, Yisi Liu, um, and the whole team at Maskbook um, for actually the support and the ideas. And you know, I hope uh, I get to go to China and uh, meet you cool people there. Um, and by the way, if you're a hacker um, and you're interested in in science, then definitely check out these guys because they, they are brilliant um, right so the, the code is quite simple I'll actually uh, I'll actually show you a, a couple of my notes first uh, I mean this this will be on YouTube so you can pause and have a look uh, there are a couple of issues here uh, but the code um, the code is cracked so uh, I initially started with the thought that you know you have this buffer this is the image buffer uh, so this is like literally the pixels, right? Like this is the this thing over here. It's the red. Uh, how much red there is in a pixel? How much green there is? How much blue there is? 
and the opacity and i was kind of thinking like what 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 do you need to do to uh to swap the blocks of pixels in the in the image and this is not quite correct because this would swap the, the individual uh, pixels and um, when i did when i did that uh the the results were quite horrendous like the image was um when you when you deshuffled back the image it was uh, grayscale I'm not sure why, uh, but uh, after talking to people at Maskbook, um, they've uh, pinpointed that uh, it's, uh, you know, you, you should shuffle blocks, not um, not individual pixels. And I started uh, uh, kind of thinking about it, how to how to do it. As, as you can see here, like A is a pixel, B is a pixel, and like each one of those has four bytes in them, as, uh, as previously shown, uh, that buffer thing. And what we need, we need this function or algorithm that, that takes the input and shuffles the, the pixels. Like it sounds easy, but you want to do it like in the most efficient uh, possible way. And you can actually do that uh, in O N time. Uh, uh, and um, that is actually the, the tip that I got from um, from Eastern Liu, I, be, I believe. Um, and this uses uh, Fisher Yates. I hope I pronounced that correct. Fisher Yates algorithm, which um, uh, so how it works is that like you have this um, buffer right and uh, not buffer sorry you have blocks of pixels and you stay like you um, you and you have a pointer at like the very last block uh, of pixels and what you do is you generate a random uh, random number between zero and like block minus the, that that last block minus one um, and um, that index is the index of a, of a pixel block that you want to shuffle this last block with. And you can see uh, here I was thinking about like how, how I can implement that. Um, and I think there is an error over here. This, this equation is not correct, but I was getting um, at the correct equation. And um, this is the unshuffle. Unshuffle is pretty easy whilst, when you have the, the shuffle. Um, and the correct equation for shuffling um, is this. And the reason I needed I needed to um, uh, come up with this equation is so that I don't um, I can I can do this in O N time, and I don't have to like copy the blocks or you know do some crazy stuff. It literally just takes the uh, the image and changes the blocks in the image in place. Um, so it's very efficient, and the space complexity of the algorithm is uh, obviously um, big O uh, of one, since y you're not storing anything at all in in this shuffling algorithm. So that's the algorithm behind it. And let me, um, yeah, I haven't. I, I realize I've uh, I've talked about this, but I haven't showed you the code. The code is the following. Um, the first thing that we do is that we check the image width, uh, blah, blah, blah. the image width, because if the image is uh, too wide, then Facebook will do some weird um, stuff with it. So better we uh, resize it before we upload it. And that is exact exactly what we do here. But we also need to be mindful of the fact that um, we specify the block width of, of the pixel blocks that we swap. And so if we make that, um, so, so we need to to ensure that we don't need to path the buffer image. That means that we don't have to create like f fake um, pixels somewhere because our blocks are too large and they overflow the image that we currently have. So we do that simply with uh, modular arithmetic, not a problem, done, resized. We then um, uh, calculate how many blocks we have since this is um, uh, uh, since we need this variable to loop through the whole image and literally we just Another important thing, we generate this uh, this uh, seed that I've talked before so that we don't have to store the permutation array. That is another tip that I got from Maskbook. I initially um, just stored the whole permutation array as a string and that is very inefficient, right? Because you can have like a 1000 plus, uh, you know, it can be much larger of uh, permutation indices. But what is cool with this is that you just have this, uh, this seed that you generate and um, this pseudo random number generator will consistently give you back the indices of um, of the blocks uh, that you need to shuffle um, when in, in the deshuffle step, right? So we have our uh, pseudo random number generator. We're, we we um, loop through every block 
and literally we generate this um, random number and swap the last block with this uh, generated thing and bam we have we have our image shuffled i'll show you uh, i'll show you the workflow like right now happens when we when we post it See, it like completely shuffled the image, and you like you couldn't couldn't tell what it is. And uh, that seed that I just talked about, it's it's over here. Yes, yeah, so the uh, deshuffle uh, bit will be uh, be uh, integrated by Maskbook. That's why I haven't done that. And on that note, I'm mindful that I I've still failed to do a 10 minute video. It's like 22 minutes now, but probably will be shorter than that. Um, because I'll cut down on my um 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 um. <laughs> to conclude, I'm not sure when uh, Maskbook will be able to uh, integrate this uh, feature, but I'm sure it won't take them too long. But I do suggest that you check it out, check check this um, extension out, it's really cool. Another thing, I'll not be hacking uh, much in the next couple of days, um, as I need to catch up with my tribe at uh, Kernel. They're like, you know, sending rockets at this point and I'm still um, creating fire in my cave. So I really need to focus on that. And I'll make a video about kernel, uh, actually. I've, I've, um, so kernel is a uh, Gitcoin's first um, uh, incubator, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I'll, I'll make a video about that on the weekend and um, how my experience has been so far. And you can also catch me on the wild cards uh, super cool uh, tech share friday and you guessed it this friday and the and it will be about uh, my bot that i wrote with my very good friend tristan uh, it is a market making bot we wrote it for coinbase and it was quite quite successful um, about a year ago so I suppose that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, please do. I mean it. Goodbye.